Hello, dear friends of motion applications. Today, motion control is a fundamental part of almost every automation solution. With our Cinemix frequency inverters and Cinemix start drive integrated in TIA portal, you have the opportunity to implement these solutions very efficiently. Today we want to take a look at how our new Cinemix S210 servo drive system for single axis drives can be easily put into operation with a Cinematic controller. We show you the simple connection of a S210 to a technology object of the Cinematic control system. The aim is to move the axis via the control panel and to optimize the control of the drive. The control system is already present in the project. The drive, the communication project planning and the technology object are still missing. First, the drive is inserted into the project. The drive is assigned to the Profinet system of the PSC. For a clock synchronous IRT communication, the PSC is defined as the sync master and a connection must also be made between the ports in the topology view. Now the technology object is created in the PSC that will take over the axis control. Here, for example, a synchronous axis is selected that can perform positioning and synchronous movements. The technology object is parameterized via graphical masks. Initially, the basic properties, such as the units of the axis, can be set here. The drive must then be assigned to the technology object. We assign the S210 drive that has just been connected. As you can see, it automatically contains the appropriate telegram. From this point of view, we can jump directly to the configuration of the drive. Since the connected motor has not yet been selected, the nameplate data and limitations are not yet available. If we now select the appropriate motor in the Properties dialog, all values are automatically entered appropriately. This concludes the basic project planning of the drive and it can be operated on the technology object. At this point, optional additional drive functions, such as safety integrated, could be configured. Since the project planning is now complete, it can be loaded into the system. In the next steps, we will move the drive via the access control panel for the first time and then optimize the drive control. In the control panel, we first take control sovereignty over the axis. Now we enter a speed set point, switch on the axis and start the movement. For control optimization, we now navigate to the drive. The commissioning screens can be accessed directly via the context menu in the network view. One button tuning is an automated measurement run to optimize the control loop and is carried out using this mask. First, a maximum permitted traverse path is specified for the measurement run. In addition, the optimization target can be selected from conservative to dynamic as required. Now the control sovereignty is taken over and the optimization is started. The measurement run is performed and the lower window shows the previously set and currently determined values for the control parameters. These change during the process and are automatically adopted after the measurement. Optional, the couple load inertia is determined by the measurement, suitable filters are set and the controller parameters are calculated according to the desired optimization target. The completion of the optimization is indicated in the status area. The determined parameters are now stored in the drive in a fail-safe manner. Finally, we disconnect from the target system and load the entire drive parameterization back into our TIA portal project. This ensures that the online and offline project are identical. Motion control is that simple with Cinematic and Cinemix. Good luck with your implementation! Siemens. Ingenuity for life.